as you're in child's pose, just feel your hips be heavy. Allow yourself to expand into the backs of the ribs. Let the breath be really easy here at first. So allowing the expansion and contraction of the lungs and the rib cage. Notice if there's any places that feel tight, sticky, hard. And notice with each breath if you can start to soften that. Mukta is the liberation that already exists within us. So it is liber us being liberated from the binding and suffering of sentient life and remembering that we can use mindfulness and meditation to help us seek mukta. There's a quote that I just wanted to read to you. I'll read it now and at the end of class to see if anything um, resonates with you here. This is from Alfred Sueza. It says, for a long time, it seemed to me that life was about to begin, real life, but there was also some obstacle in the way, something to be gotten through first, some unfinished business, time still to be served or a debt to be paid. At last, it dawned on me that these obstacles were my life. This perspective has helped me to see that there is no way to happiness. Happiness is the way. So treasure every moment you have and remember that time waits for no one. Happiness is a journey, not a destination. Walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. Possibly left hand comes on side of, on top of the right hand. As you exhale, sink deeper into your left glute, allowing that to weigh down as you pull your left fingertips over to the right. And then inhale, walk your hands all the way over to the left. If you need a little bit more stretch, you can place the right palm on top of the left hand. As you exhale, sink into the right hip here. Breathe into the right ribs. Inhale back to center, coming on up into tabletop. Spread the fingers, bring your knees underneath your hips. You can have your toes tucked or not. And as you drop your belly, take a deep breath in, look up. And as you exhale, start to round the spine, tucking the chin to the chest. So inhale, drop the belly, sh shrug the shoulder blades on your back, look up. And then exhale, round, push the earth away. Two more times. Start to sync up your breath with your movement. On the completion of two rounds, as you inhale, just come to a neutral spine. Reach your right leg back behind you. And then cross your right leg directly over to the left. Set your toes down, reach your heel back, and look over your left shoulder. Maybe you can walk your hands to the left side of your mat just a little bit, making a greater C curve here with the spine. Breathe into the right side, expand. Roll that right shoulder back away from the ear. And then walk your hands back to the center. And return the right knee down to the mat. Reach your left leg long. And then cross it to the right side. 
Look over your right shoulder, walk your hands to the right side if you'd like a little bit more stretch, and then reach back through your left heel. Breathe into your left side. Glide that left shoulder blade down your back, get long through the left side of the neck. Walk your hands back to center, return the left knee to the mat. And then tuck your toes, lift your hips up, downward facing dog. Take three rounds of breath in downward dog, making any movements that you need to make. Feel into the body, feel your palms, your fingertips gripping onto your mat. Notice the parts of the feet that are touching the mat. Let the knees be soft here. Widen the shoulders away from your ears and allow your chest to sink back towards your thighs. Lift your tailbone. And then without forcing, just allow the heels to start to drop. Knees can stay soft. Widen your feet, at least mat width distance apart here. Keep a small bend in the knees. Walk your hands back about a quarter way back. So you're in this short downward facing dog. Then plant your right hand and sweep your left hand to the outer right ankle. Take a little twist, gaze up underneath your right armpit. Notice the hips like the shift to the right and pull them back to the left a little bit. Next inhale, release the left hand. Plant it down firmly and then cross your right hand to the outer left ankle. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, use that to help you twist towards your left. Inhale, release. Walk your hands forward. Come back into your downward facing dog, stepping the feet a little closer. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top of the mat, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, take your time to come on up. So if you want to round the spine or come up flat spine, it's up to you. Reaching the arms high. And then hands come to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up. If you want to round up or flat back again, it's up to you. Reach your arms high. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms reach high, interlace the fingers, press the palms up to the sky, or down through both feet, and side bend to the right. Inhale, get long through the arms, and as you exhale, bend a little bit more. Inhale, come back up, and then exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, long arms. Exhale, bend a little deeper. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the palm, step back, plank pose. Take a deep breath in and plank. Exhale here. In plank, we're going to do a little core work here. So hug the low abdomen up and in. Get strong through the arms, strong legs. Take your right leg and just tap your right foot out about a foot outside of your mat. And then bring your toes to touch back down. Then you're going to take your left foot and do the same. You're just going to tap it off to the side and then tap it in. So just switching, alternating sides. So right side out and in, left side out and in. Right, out, in, left, out, in. Two more times each side. Right, out, and in, left, out, in. Last time, right, out, in, and left, out, in. Deep breath in, plank. 
Exhale, lower all the way to your belly. And tuck the toes, inhale, cobra pose. And exhale, release. Let's do that again, inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, release. Tuck your toes, inhale, plank or table. As you breathe out, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. This time, reverse swan dive all the way up, arms reach high. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms reach high, interlace the fingers, reach your palms up. As you exhale, side bend to the right. See if you can reach your left hip bone to the left and your hands to the right a little bit more. Ground down to your feet. Inhale, come high. Exhale, side bend left. Breathe in. Get long. As you exhale, can you fold just a tiny bit more? Inhale, high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms, step back, plank pose. Bring your big toes to touch, looking forward a little bit. Press your arms so that the shoulders are really activated here. Your arms are gonna hold you, pull the low belly in and up. You can either do the tapping one leg at a time or we're just gonna jump apart and back. So when you jump your feet out, they might just go about mat width distance or a little farther and then jump them back in. So just take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Next inhale, start to hop. Out, in, out, in, out, in. Try not to bounce up and down too much. Keep the core really strong here. Two more times. Stay. And release all the way down onto your belly. Release the toes, reach your arms back behind you, interlace the fingers. Inhale, curl the chest up off the floor, reaching the knuckles back. Think of toes back, heart forward. Breathe, create space in the chest. Exhale, lower. Plant the hands, tuck the toes. Inhale, plank or table. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right leg goes high. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose. Stay here as you inhale, try to hug the thigh higher. And then exhale, step that right foot between the hands, lower the left knee. Inhale, reach your arms high. Exhale, stay here, Anjaneyasin. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. Inhale, hands come to heart center. Widen the elbows as you exhale, left elbow outside of right knee. Deep breath in, think from your left knee to the crown of your head, get long. As you exhale, twist. Inhale, reach your arms high. Exhale, lower the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Exhale. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, draw the knee to the nose. Inhale, pull that thigh up. Exhale, step that foot forward, lower the right. Inhale, arms reach high. Stay here, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, hands to heart. Exhale, twist to the left, right elbow, side of left knee. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, twist into it. Breathe in, slow exhale. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, lower the hands. Step back, plank pose. 
Lower chaturanga, halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, draw the knee to the nose. Inhale, hug it up higher. Exhale, step forward, lowering the left knee. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, stay. Inhale, hands to heart. Exhale, left elbow to right knee twist. One breath here. Inhale, reach the arms high, tuck your left toes and come up into a high lunge. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, reach the arms forward, hover the belly over the thigh, coming into warrior three, transfer the weight as the left leg lifts. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hands come down as you lift the left leg, standing splits. Inner left thigh wraps up so that the toes point down. In this position, draw your left knee to your chest, look forward, and then you're going to do kind of like a pistol squat where you start to bend your right knee to sit as the left leg loops and swoops forward. So just take a seat here. <clears throat> Hands come by your sides. So you're sitting up nice and tall. Reach your right arm inside of the left leg. And then possibly take a half bind here so you can reach your right arm around your shin. Twist your right ribs towards the left. Perhaps you take the bind. You can grab your shirt or your fingertips with your left hand. Take a deep breath in, flex your left foot. And then as you exhale, start to twist your belly button over your left thigh as you pull forward. One more inhale. Exhale here. Release the bind, inhale. Bring your hands down by your sides. You can use your blocks by your hips or come to your fists, whichever way you'd like to work it here. Uh, you can keep your right leg bent. You use your right foot and then press into the floor and lift your left leg. So you're pulling up the pelvic floor, lifting yourself away from the mat. Pull that left leg up, should feel the core working. And then go ahead, set it down, rock yourself back, and then you're gonna come all the way back into your standing split. So you're just gonna rock yourself back and give yourself a little momentum, and then stand onto that right leg and you sweep that left leg back behind you. Take a deep breath in, and then come into warrior one. So that left leg steps back, reach your arms high. Ooh, let's all catch up here. Deep breath in. And breath out. Inhale. Exhale, open warrior two. Long arms, shoulder blades, hug in the back. Fingertips nice and long. Deep bend into your right knee. Flip the right palm, reverse your warrior, reaching that arm up and back. One more breath here. As you exhale, wiggle the arms all the way down to the ground. Step back, plank pose. Deep breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, draw the knee to the nose. Inhale, pull it in. Exhale, step it forward, right knee down. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, stay, relax the shoulders. Inhale, hands to heart. Exhale, right elbow, side of left knee. 
One full breath here, breathe in. Exhale. Inhale, reach your arms high, tuck your back toes, come on up into a high lunge. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, hover the belly over your left thigh, and then come into warrior three. Straighten your left leg as the right leg lifts behind you. Next exhale, hands come down, bowing over your left leg. Reach your right heel higher. Internally rotate that right leg. And then bend your right knee into your chest. Look forward, bend the left knee, and then straighten that right leg out in front of you. Take a seat. Reach your left arm in front, inside of the left leg. And then go ahead and take that half bind around. Reach your right arm behind you, and then start to spiral your left ribs towards the right. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale. Start to square yourself over the right thigh as you pull forward. Release the bind. Inhale on up. Grab your blocks if you have them. Use your fists, something just right outside of your hips. And then press into the blocks as you inhale, pull the pelvic floor up and keep the uh, right leg in line with the hip. Next exhale, release. Move the blocks and you can roll on back. And then come all the way back into that standing split as you sweep that right leg up and back. Stepping back, warrior one. Right heel is the farthest back as you lift the arms. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, open warrior two. Try to get a nice long stance here. Really bend the left knee, lift through the inner right ankle. Flip the left palm, reverse warrior. Expand the left ribs as you breathe in. As you exhale, windmill the arms down to the ground. Step back, plank pose. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Three rounds of breath here. You need to drop to your knees, come into child's pose. That's a good option. Just take care of yourself. And free your mind from anything that you think you should do. And just do what the body's calling. Breathe in. Slow breath out. All meeting in downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts high. Exhale, draw the knee to the nose. Inhale, pull the thigh up. Exhale, step that forward, lower the left knee. Inhale, reach your arms high. As you exhale, twist to the right. Breathe in. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Inhale, reach high. Tuck your back toes and lift on up into a high lunge. Inhale. Exhale, lean forward, warrior three. Inhale, lift the back leg, reach forward through your fingertips. Exhale, standing splits. Inhale here. Exhale, draw the left knee to your chest. Bend the right knee and send that left foot through. Come to a seat. This time, you're just going to let the right knee fall to the side. And you're going to open your left leg out to the left side. Bring your left hand or arm down onto the shin. Reach your right arm for a side bend to the left side.
Think of really grounding down into your right sits bone as then you arch over your left leg. Inhale, come on up. Return the right, the left leg, sorry, straight forward. You can cross your right ankle on top of the thigh. Bring your hands by your sides or on blocks or use fists. And then lift your hips. Perhaps you can lift that heel up off the ground. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, release. Hug that right knee into your chest. You're going to come to that standing so Let's rock back. Rock forward, sweep that left leg up and back. Breathe in here. Exhale, come into warrior one. Step back to the left leg, arms reach high. Inhale here. Exhale, open warrior two. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, flip the front palm. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, find space here in the right side. Exhale, come back into warrior two. Straighten the right leg. Reach forward, trikonasana. I like to put, bend my left elbow, place the palm in the back of the head, and then press my head back into my palm. I feel like I get a longer side stretch. Try it on if it doesn't feel good. Feel free to keep the left arm high. One more breath in here. Drop your left hand, lift your left heel, and then step your left foot in just a little bit for Parzo Tavasan. Bowing over the leg. Plant your left hand inside of the foot, a right foot or on a block. Reach your right arm forward and then twist towards the right. Right fingertips high. Hug your hip points together towards one another, helping to square the hips. Next exhale, lower the right hand, step back. Plank pose, deep breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale here. Notice your hands connect back into your mat to the earth. Notice the legs. Lift your tailbone. Find that extension in the spine here. Might feel more pulling in the hamstrings, soften the knees. Next, inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, draw the knee to nose. Inhale, lift tired. Exhale, step it forward, lowering down the right knee. Inhale, reach your arms high. Exhale, twist towards the left. Inhale, long. Exhale, spiral. Inhale, reach high, tuck your right toes in, and then come on up into a lunge. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, warrior three. Breathe in. Breathe out, standing splits. Inhale. Exhale, right knee comes to the chest. Come to a seat as you reach that right leg forward. And then open the left knee directly out to the side. Right leg comes out to the right side. Right arm down, side bend to your right, left arm by your ear. Try to root down into your left sits bone. And think of rotating your right ribs underneath and up towards the sky. Open the chest the belly. Next inhale, come on up. 
realign that right leg straight forward and cross the left ankle on top of the thigh. Hands come down on blocks for the snake fist. Roll the shoulders back as you inhale, lift up. Maybe that heel can lift. Ooh, and then exhale, release, bringing that left knee high. And then go ahead and take a rock back. The rock forward as you stand on the left leg, right leg swings up and back. Step back, warrior one. And then open out, warrior two. Flip the front palm, reverse for you as you bend into that left knee. Strong right leg. Inhale, come back into warrior two. Straighten the left leg. Trick the knocks and reach forward. Find the length in both the right and left side body here. So see if you can get a nice extension, extension of the spine. Then perhaps you like the all option of bending the right elbow, pressing the head back, and thinking of reaching the elbow up towards the front of the room, getting a longer stretch from the armpit all the way to your right pinky toe. Inhale, reach the right fingertips high. And then exhale, hands come down to the ground, lift the right heel and step your right foot in an inch or two, folding over your left leg. Inhale, plant the right palm underneath your shoulder, reach that left arm forward. And as you exhale, rotate that left arm up to the sky, twist. Really ground into your back foot. Breathe in as you exhale, wrap those right ribs underneath. One more breath in here. Exhale, lower the hand, step back, plank pose. Deep breath in. Exhale, chaturanga, half leg. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Drop to your knees, big toes touch, child's pose. Arms can be forward. Maybe it would feel nice to bring your arms by your legs. Notice your breath. Notice the vibration of your body. Walk your hands forward. Come on up into tabletop. Just bring your right knee in the, in the middle of the mat and go ahead and set up for pigeon pose. Just remember there's a lot of different ways you can do pigeon pose here. The heel can be closer towards the top of the left hip or you can get your shin parallel. It doesn't really matter. It just matters how it feels for you. So hit around with that front leg and then try to wrap the top of so the hip flexors on the left side down onto your mat. So meaning that you hug your right hip back and your left hip forward. From here, you can decide if it feels nice to just stay upright. You might feel more in uh, the hips for you that way. Or come over the shin. So mukta, when you think of mukta, 
It's remembering that our mind and our spirit were once free. But in life, we become preoccupied with expectations, rules, limitations that weigh us down. So it's seeking out that liberation, remembering that we were once liberated, that our spirit was free, Walk your hands back towards your shin as you lift the spine. And you're just going to roll to the right side of the hip. Parvrita Janushirshasana again. So we did it in our flow, but we're going to do it again here. So your right knee is out to the side. You're probably facing the long side of your mat. And your left leg is out in the diagonal, sitting up nice and tall. If you have a block, it can be nice to bring your forearm onto the block. Otherwise, it can just come onto your shin. Maybe you bind the big toe, reach your right arm by your ear. Sometimes you can grab your toe, but notice if you tend to allow your right shoulder to fall and your chest to fall towards the earth, then just let go of the bind and focus on opening the right side. If your neck hurts in any way, you can take your hand at the back of the head and just help lift it so you can really focus on breathing into the right ribs. As you exhale, soften and allow that side bend to the left to happen. Breathing in, breathing out. Keep the contraction in the core as you come on up. Then inhale, you're gonna pivot towards the back of your mat, sitting up for pigeon pose towards the back. So your left leg is parallel to the back of the mat or in some version of that front leg. And then the right leg is extended behind you. Take a moment to lift the spine, feel into the hips, into the legs. See if maybe this would feel nice to just stay here for a little bit or fold forward. Inhale, as you lift your gaze and your spine, walk your hands back towards your shin. Then roll onto your left glute. Keep your right leg extended <clears throat> out to the right side and your left foot inside of the inner right thigh. Lifting up first. Right hand and arm come down as you reach your left arm up by your ear side, bending to the right. Think of the spiraling happening through the rib cage as you're moving your uh, lower right ribs under and forward and up. Trying to take that twist, opening the ribs, the chest. If 
you ever feel like you have a lot of heat trapped in the body, this is a beautiful pose to just release some excess heat in the digestion or in the upper area with the liver, the stomach, the spleen. Inhale, exhale fully, keep the contraction at the bottom of the exhale and come on up. Widen the left leg off the side, just coming into a wide leg, seated wide leg forward fold here. Maybe you can bring your hands behind you, lift your pelvis and maybe scoot it forward just a little bit. And then with a tall spine that feels like you're rounding here, you can sit on a blanket or a pillow or a block. And then tipping the pelvis forward so the hips, the hip bones start to come forward as your tailbone comes back and up. And then starting to lean forward. Try to keep the external rotation of the legs happening so the toes stay pointing up. And then perhaps you can lay all the way flat or maybe bring a block underneath for your forehead. You're still staying active, but allowing the breath to be easy. Inhale, looking forward, walking your hands back towards you. Sweeping your left leg to meet the right, so facing the front of your mat again. Reach your legs forward, reach your arms forward, and then roll all the way down. Bend your knees, plant the bottoms of the feet down. Hands and arms by your sides. Back of the head presses to lift the chin away from the chest. And then as you inhale, lift your hips, perhaps roll the shoulders underneath you to clasp the fingers. And then stand into the mat, pressing the feet as you lift the hips. Free the throat by lifting the chin and pressing the back of the head into the earth. Release the hands. Lift your heels, slowly roll all the way down. You'll toe your feet out to the edges of your mat with your knees knocking towards one another. Place one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest. The hands by your side, heel toe, the feet in, hip width distance apart. Then coming into bridge one more time, Satu Gandhasan, lifting the hips. You can decide to clasp the hands or not. If wheel is super easy for you and you enjoy that, feel free to come up into the full wheel.
And then release the hands, lift the heels, lower all the way down. Bring the bottoms of the feet together, let the knees lay out to the sides, one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Allowing everything to start to settle. Seeking out that space within you that remembers the freedom of the soul and the mind. Remembers liberation from all the worry, anger, frustration, fear. Even just for a split second, feeling that freedom, giving your body and your mind a break. your hands on the outer thighs and help the knees up and extend the legs moving into shavasana arms lay down beside you nice and wide palms face up and roll the shoulder blades under you a little bit take a moment to find what is comfortable for you here a place that you can stay and soften into. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Again, deep breath in. As you exhale, just feel the body, your bones, your muscles, everything getting heavy. Release the control of your breath. Give yourself permission to be here in silence for a few moments. Start to deepen your breath. Reawakening the senses. Feel the air on your skin. Start to notice the sounds around you. Notice 
senses, the taste, the smell, the space. Reaching your arms up above, rolling over onto a side. Let the eyes remain closed, noticing that darkness. Pushing yourself up to take a seat. Lifting the spine nice and tall when you get there. Allow the palms to just drape over your knees. I'm just taking in these words again by Alfred Suiza. For a long time, it seemed to me that life was about to begin, real life, but there was always some obstacle in the way something to be gotten through first, some unfinished business, time still to be served, a debt to be paid. At last it dawned on me that these obstacles were my life. This perspective has helped me to see that there is no way to happiness. Happiness is the way. So treasure every moment you have and remember that time waits for no one. Happiness is a journey, not a destination. Bring your hands to heart center. When you think about it, happiness is liberation. Bringing you back to that pure, blissful state. Letting go of all the tangles that our mind weaves in this world. A moment uh, to think of something that you're grateful for today, expressing gratitude. And then lifting the thumbs to the third eye and bowing to the extraordinary being that is you. Namaste. Mm -hmm.